We're back with Let's Make a Set for Murders at Karlov Manor. I've taken a break from doing these Let's Make a Sets for a couple of sets now because, well, to be honest, it got a little exhausting with as many sets that are coming out and all the cards and different frames and borders and craziness that I decided to step back for a moment and collect myself, pun not intended. But then they announced the Play Booster and I realized something, but I'll get to that in a minute. If this is the first time you've ever seen a Let's Make a Set video, this is how it works. I open three booster boxes. In this case, it'll be two play booster boxes and one collector booster box. I am looking to get one copy of every card from the set, but with a caveat. When I say one copy, I mean any copy. I don't care about the border. If I get an Aurelia, whether it's a dossier, regular border, or that weird serialized thing, I mark her off the list. I'm looking for one copy of every individually named card on the list for Murders at Karlov Manor. A huge shout out to the end games. I wouldn't have been able to do this video without them. Be sure to check out the link in the description down below. As you can see, we've started. This is the first play booster box. Here lists the number of new cards from each rarity in each pack. Down here is the running tally of how many of each rarity we have and how close we are at getting all of that rarity. In the past, I've had a running tally of how much it would cost you to purchase one copy of every card. I'm not going to have the running tally here, but I will let you know how much when we get to the end. Now, I'm going to ramble a bit while we go through these cards. When they announced the play booster is when I knew I had to take another crack at Let's Make a Set. And the reason for that is because with play boosters, getting to a full set with just a few booster boxes, while still statistically unlikely, is much more likely than it was with draft and set boosters. You see, simply because a play booster has the potential to give you three rares from the main set. Yes, the play booster could potentially get you four rares in total, but that fourth rare is either a list card or a special guest card or whatever that slot is gonna be in the future and therefore doesn't really work for our purposes. But that still means three rares in a pack. Now in Murders at Karlov Manor, there are 70 rares and 20 mythics. That means 90 cards with the Collector Booster giving you a guaranteed four rares from Murders at Karlov Manor, even if you make the assumption that the Play Boosters only have one rare per pack, which is statistically unlikely as well, that means in the Play Boosters alone, we're getting 72 rares. With the Collector Booster, that means we're getting 120, which raises the possibility that we could get all rares and mythics. And in my previous Let's Make a Set videos, it's pretty obvious by midway through the second booster box that we're getting nowhere near a full set. But that wasn't the case today. I'll, I'll catch you on Play Booster Box 2.
Okay, we didn't get a ton of mythics in this one, but we got a ton of rares, and that's a lot. Not to mention the fact that we cleared all commons and uncommons. Mark Rosewater has said on his podcast, Drive to Work, that the allocation of cards in packs isn't fully randomized. It's very heavily randomized with some tweaks so they can control what's in packs somewhat. But obviously he can't go into more details than that. But considering that in almost every Let's Make a Set video, we've gotten all commons and uncommons by the end of the first booster box with a few odd exceptions, it leads me to believe that every booster box is pushed towards having mostly all of the uncommons and commons, probably for limited play, especially when you consider that this is a play booster. That definitely seemed to be the case with the draft boosters as well. But let's see how this box does for our rares and mythics. This is the part of the video where I tell you to check out MTech Cave. They have fantastic collection management solutions for your TCG collection. And they also have a bunch of other nerd stuff too. So go check them out. The affiliate link is in the description down below, or you can use the code FDS at checkout. Thank you again to MTech Cave. I know, right? 15 cards. And remember what I said, each collector booster has four rares for the set Murders at Karlov Manor. Yeah, it has a fifth rare for the Commander set or some other slot, but four of the rares are from this set. I, I know there's some weirdness with special guest cards that sometimes you could get three, but still 15 cards. That means that four of these collector booster packs could get us there. It's a possibility, yes. Statistically unlikely, but still a possibility. Let's see how we do.
seven cards. We were seven cards away. And even more than that, those seven cards cost less than $15 to pick up. Yeah, we got pretty close. Now, am I saying you should do this? Am I saying you should go out and buy a couple of booster boxes to get a full set? That's the most efficient way. No, I'm not saying that at all. This is wholly inefficient and very unlikely to get a full set. But I like cracking packs. I like playing this game. I like seeing how close I can get with just opening a couple of booster boxes and then going out and picking up the rest on my own. It's a fun thing for me. But the old adage holds, buy singles. If you want to get a full set because it is definitely cheaper to just pick up the individual cards, especially in this set. And I would like to point out that this method was double the price than if I would have just gone out and bought each card from the set. And quick disclaimer, this number is date of editing. It most likely has changed since then, most likely gone lower. Seven cards. Got still pretty close. If one or two of those collector boosters had gone a different way, we would have been under five, maybe even a full set. That's what excites me about play boosters, is that unlike set and draft boosters, those didn't, it didn't seem like there would be a chance. Where with the play boosters, it gives you a glimmer of hope. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Anyways, thanks for watching.